Hello and welcome to the Total Core Basic Workout. To begin, let's get started with our hands crisscrossed over our shoulders. And we'll start with just our basic crunch, coming all the way down and all the way up. Making sure to engage our belly button in towards our spine all the way through the movement. And make sure we breathe all throughout, inhaling down and exhaling as we come up out of the crunch. Maintain your feet firmly planted on the floor. That way we know we're using our core the entire time and not using our legs to force the movement. Good. Remember to maintain that chin straight up nice and tall. Keep it nice and tight all throughout the midsection. How about eight more basic crunches? Just to warm things up. All the way up. Good, pull that belly button in a little bit tighter for the last four. And give me two more. And all the way up. Go ahead and relax those arms. Let's add another variation to this. We'll start engaging the obliques, which are the sides. Hands behind the head, relaxing the shoulders, coming all the way back, now twisting as we come up. And again with the breathing, inhaling as we come back, exhaling as we execute the crunch on the way up. Good, and let's twist and twist. Move those shoulder blades all the way across. And the further we move them, the more we engage the obliques. And notice how my feet are still placed firmly down towards the ground. Very nice. Adding a little more twist into it. Let's give it eight more repetitions. All the way across. about four more. Good. Make them your best. And two. And one. Now let's relax those arms and start another variation of our basic crunch workout. We'll take the toes, lift them up, and place the heels firmly on the ground. Chest is tall, hands behind the head, and we'll come to an alternating tap with our heels as we cross our elbows over to the knee. We're engaging the midsection again, but also the obliques. And adding a little more of a challenge as we pick our heels off the ground. Remember to inhale back, exhale as we come up and across. Very nice. And as you do this, you will feel a little more emphasis on one side of the abdominal cage as you pick up each heel. We'll just start with alternating, and then we'll move into isolating one side at a time. Give me four more alternating. And one more. Great. Now we'll start isolating one side just to the left. Up and tap. Twist and tap. So you notice you want to feel this a little more in the left side of the abdominal cage. Just focus on isolating that one side. How's the breathing? Inhale down. Exhale up. Good. Should definitely be feeling warm through these. Nice heat building through that abdominal cage. And eight more here. Can 
can really feel these now. Four more. Three. Lift up that heel. Two. And one more. Good. Relax those shoulders at the top. Take a nice little roll to release them. And we'll pick up that isolation on the right side. Hands behind the head. And twist and tap the heel. Don't forget to come all the way back for a full resistance on the way up. Good, how's our breathing? Remember not to hold that breath. And inhale down. Exhale as we twist. You feel the right side of the abdominal cage working a little harder. And eight more on this side. And last three. Twist for two. And one.